My name is Andrew, and I'm interviewing Ms. Niece today, and it's 4.42 p.m. Um, we're at Holy Trinity, and it's December 12th. Okay. First question, Ms. Niece, where are you from? Okay, so originally I uh, was born in Washington, D.C., which is our capital on the East Coast. Yeah. Um, and I lived there um, for eight years, and then my mom and my sisters and I moved to Michigan because um, we had more. We have more family in Michigan. So um, from third grade through high school, I grew up in a town called East Lansing, Michigan, um, which is a small town in like the middle of Michigan. Um, and it's where most people know it because there's a big college there called Michigan State. So it's where I would say that I grew up mostly. Um, so it's where I spent school and, you know, where I was young and finished high school was in Michigan. And that's, I consider that home. When I think about home, I think about Michigan. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Um, next question. Yes. How was your high school experience? Uh, yes, so I um, went to a big public high school. So there were probably close to a thousand students total. Um, and I was always a very good student. I motivated myself. And when I was a sophomore, I got it in me that I couldn't get less than 100% in anything that I did, which looking back on it, probably shouldn't have been so critical but I liked it wasn't just because I want you know was looking for the grade I really like to learn I really like my teachers um, I uh, was really was always into what I was doing it wasn't just you know to get a grade I just enjoyed learning which makes sense of why I'm here um, uh, but the only difference because when, when I think about you know life there versus here it's really nice to be at a small school where teachers get to know you and take an interest in you because there, there's 30, 40 people in your class and you don't get that same kind of attention, you know, because there's so many kids and I always was good that nobody really, and I wasn't really confident or outgoing, you know, I didn't really um. try to get to know, I would never, I don't think I ever had a conversation with a teacher like this just because you kind of went to school, did your homework, took your tests, go home, there wasn't that same relationship. So um, so I liked high school because I felt very good, you know, grade-wise. I did gymnastics, I did diving. Um, I had really good friends, thank God, because I know that could go the wrong way if you start getting in the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. True. You start doing what they do, and all of my friends talked about college from when we were freshmen and were really good to me. And we, like I look back on it and I think, well, I had really good friends. I was in sports. I, um, I did good in school, so good things were happening. But the only, if I could look at the negative side, it's a big school, you're more of a number, you're not, you don't have that same, like here, that's why I like it here, because you get to know your teachers, you know, somebody can take an interest in you and reach out to you and help you. Yeah. But it was a long time ago, too. So, <laughs> and it's, I don't know, something about the way the internet and phones are. I feel like that changes what high school is like, too, because there is no, nobody had a cell phone. Internet wasn't, not, there's was no Google. What did you guys use? Like, <laughs> Books, books oh. encyclopedias. Well, there was, there was, we did sometimes go into the computer lab and, do research, but I don't even remember like how, I think there was Google, but not like this. It was not at this level. It was mostly use, use your books to find your information. Actually go to the library and get a book out, not, not the internet. So it was harder? It was like, well, it was that's a good question. You had to do a little bit more searching. Here you got the answers right away. True. When I was in, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, it was 10 years ago, but you had to, you had to work a little harder to get your answers, I would say. 
And I wasn't, and I think about it too. I mean, I know this isn't part of your questions, but thinking about how I'm focused I am, I remember I was very disciplined and focused because I didn't have any distractions. Like now, even when I do work now, it's like, oh, I'm going to look at my phone really quickly. But then looking at your phone becomes distraction. very much of a distraction, yeah. True. Or my computer and my iPad and all the stuff that I had. I know that I was more, even though I still procrastinated when I sat down to do something, I didn't, there was not a lot to distract me because it, what, it, I mean, there, what am I going to do? True. Not look at my phone. But overall, the teachers were good. I, I love gymnastics and met friends there. My best friend is still, my best friend now, I met her in high school. So I've met people. I don't, I, she's probably really the only person I talk to, but, um, I met, you know, I had good friends. It was a positive experience. I don't look back at it and like, oh, I hated it. You know, I, I, I appreciate the education and I, and I am proud of myself for working really hard, but if I wish I could have maybe not have been so hard on myself, because in the end, it's good to work that hard, but to my extent, oh, I, see. I feel like I could have done a little bit more with my free time than study, but. Like, <laughs> Like enjoy life more. Yeah, enjoy life, but not too much. Oh, I, I mean, see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say this for you to, you know, not study. I just was very. So I don't know what got into me, but I could not get less than a hundred percent on anything. So like that's you, crazy. So did you get above a hundred and everything? Or like I mostly? got I well I in all of the easier classes I definitely got A's. I just had to really work in physics, and I think I got a B. Which was pretty good. I mean, it was hard for me. Mm. Yeah, but that was a challenge. But I worked really, really hard. And went for, and I know that I um, had friends and people, and my physics teacher was really nice, and she helped me and worked with me because um, I asked her questions to try more. But that was a challenge for me. That was my most challenging class. Mm. And I had a history class that we had no homework. It was three tests. So, yeah, three tests and a final, I think, was the way she... She ran it like a college class. So that was kind of like, ah. Uh, so I had to work really hard because I didn't have a homework grade. There was no participation. It was just tests. What about notes? You had to take notes. Yeah, yeah I was like, taking notes, but there was no grade. Oh, no grade. Your only notes. grade was just tests. So that was, like, very challenging because... Yeah, wow. you had to work really hard. So I worked very, very, very hard. I did, you know, obviously triple. And I think she did give us homework, but she didn't ever grade the homework. She said our homework was read and answer these questions, but she didn't grade them. Did you just check them? No. It was up to you. You do it or you don't do it. You do it, and then that's your way to study for the test, but you don't get a grade. So getting homework is nice that teachers do that because that helps your grade because that's something that you're in control of. But I remember in high school I had to, physics and that history class, I definitely pushed myself and worked very hard. I see. I know I'm going on a lot of tangents, but it's good. all part of it. It gives you something to write about, yeah. True. Yeah. All right. My... Nice. And no, another the, thing, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go, go ahead. I just, it was the other thing that I remember, you know, different from Chicago was that it was a very small town. Um, there was a lot to do, but I mostly found activities through the university, so I'm lucky that they had, that I was close to campus because they had, I did sports camps there and um, like rode my bike around and there was more activities there, which is different. From here, when I feel like in the city, there's just ah, so much to look at and explore, True. and it was different because it was just a very small, quiet area. area. Yeah, it wasn't like this. It wasn't a city. It wasn't in a big city, which I guess it, they're both places have pros and cons, you know. True. Anyways. Oh, so you you basically answered my question. Another question. Oh. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, another question. What are your favorite hobbies now, since like you got more free time, since like you're just a teacher? So. Yeah. Well, now I um, try to work out not every day, but a couple days a week. Um, I um, 
because that's important for me to stay healthy stay healthy and fit even though I've been kind of bad about it but I'm getting back getting back because you have to build the habit True. you know when you stop doing something and it's like oh I gotta start doing this it's like completely yeah. I used to last year actually for the last couple of years I worked out every single day I never missed a day and then I started teaching summer school and then this year is a new class for me and it's been hard for me so I'm just very exhausted when I get home so I um don't think about going to the gym but I have to make it a habit so I try now to go three days a week. So that's something that I do. I hang out with my sister because she lives in Chicago. So we go out to eat or talk or go shopping, um, which is good to have family. Yeah, I see my friends. We, I, my friends, we, we, all of my friends are different in some way, but. Um, mm, We'll go out or go to concerts or just hang out and talk. So, yeah. Sounds Those are some things that I like to do. I like to travel. I know that's not something you do every day, but that's very important to me to save money so I can go outside of Chicago and see the world, you know, what that, it's like. Is that during the summer? Yeah, mm -hmm. during the summer or during spring break. Um, I'll try to go do a big trip at least once a year. Um, oh, but nice. I just have to save money, which is also kind of a challenge for me. What trip do you want to go to? <laughs> um, well, my sister's friend is getting married in Italy this year, so I'm like really hoping that we make that happen. And then I have a friend who lives in, uh, she lives in, I think she's in Austria, yeah. which is by Italy, and she's invited me the last couple of years, but I couldn't go this past summer, so I'm trying to save money so I can make that happen. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it's just expensive, and I don't have that much money How available. Much well, the plane ticket's a thousand, and then, but I want to enjoy myself, so oh, I probably see. like I have to have two thousand dollars, which maybe not sound like a lot of money, but for me, that's a lot of money. What kind of is still a lot of money? Huh? It still kind of is a lot of money. It is though. a lot of money. Yeah. So, yeah, but that's a hobby. Traveling is a big, it's important to my health, uh, I don't want to say health, but Enjoyment. I like to see, I like to see the world outside of Chicago. Yeah, I want to see how people are, you know, what cultures are like, yeah. um, what people eat, talk, I like meeting people I, and talking to people, um, yeah. Okay. So I've gone to places before in my life, and I really remember, I really rem have strong experiences from doing that. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, the last question. Okay, yeah. What, what made you become a teacher? Uh, that's a really good question. I kind of just stumbled into this place. <laughs> <laughs> like HT or like yeah. in the teacher oh. yeah because <laughs> I graduated from DePaul I went to DePaul in Lincoln Park so I came from Michigan to Chicago and I graduated in 2009 and in 2009 um, the economy tanked yeah. and there weren't any jobs and I didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to do after college and I thought oh I'm gonna I have a degree I'm going to find a job anywhere, but that's not the case when nobody has a job and I'm oh, 21 yeah. or 22, you know, and I didn't have a plan because I graduated in socio with sociology, which is the study of why people do the things that they do, which is interesting. Like ther therapy? Well, yeah. it could be. It could be. Yeah. It, but there's no job that hooked up with that degree. So I was just... I was living with my sister. I was applying to different places. I saw an ad on the DePaul's website to tutor kit, um, students at Holy Trinity. And I was just thinking, oh, well, yeah, I mean, that sounds cool. But I wasn't thinking about that would be my job. And I, I interviewed. 
here um, in 2010. I got hired part time, and then it just kind of Stuck seven to years later. <laughs> but I I knew that DePaul like different things made me inspired me to be here because I want a job where I feel like I'm making a difference because I know people who just do things just to make money and that's what they want to do and that's their life but I feel like that one I don't want to say make me happy but it's not I'm not in it for money I'm in it because ho hopefully some things that I offer could make somebody's life better and that makes me feel like I'm contributing to society so, and I, in the first couple of years that I was here, I really connected with some students, you know, you know, you know, and they came into the RLC every day and I would talk to them and help them and help them apply to college. And it was just like, so, ah, oh, like gives me goosebumps to <laughs> think that, you know, you can do that to somebody and help them in their life. So that's why I'm here still is even though there are definitely challenges, I would say, and I'm still getting comfortable with the whole teaching thing, helping young people figure out their future and helping them through school and being a person to talk to, and that's just so, uh, such a powerful thing to do for society. So, <sighs> it's why I stayed. That's, and I'm still good. a teacher. Yes. So, Wait, so when you, when you be, like, that's the reason of becoming a teacher, but, like, if you had another place to go to, besides HT, would you go? Like, if it, <laughs> if it, paid, if it paid more, or, like, yeah, if it paid more? I would consider it, but I would have to think really think hard about be it. careful, because oh. I have friends who left... HT or left um, a school to go to a public school because it, they got more money, but then maybe they're in a really bad public school and they're the kids are not as nice. Oh, you know, so it's like eh, you might get more if, if you if you go to another school, but Mine is it worth well. it? Yeah, because I don't want to. That's why I love Holy Trinity. Is even though, yes, of course, there's going to be problems, but like kids are very mm -hmm. nice. And cooperative and there's no discipline issue no like real no fights in the hallway or you know disrespect that's terrible or um, those kind of problems that would happen at a public school we don't see and hear and um, so I feel like I wouldn't just it wouldn't just be to get more money you know that doesn't make sense to me um, because I feel like I want to be as happy because I would be more stressed out about and about a different place. And here, kids are very nice. I like the teachers who are here. Um, there's really good things happening. I see students um, who are in college and doing really well, and it's just it's a good environment. So, so that's even though even though whatever the problems are for everybody, it's not, you know, good things happen here. That's good. Yeah. That's, good. Um, that's all the questions I had. Okay, I know that's been a long time. I hope that was helpful. It was. Okay. Thank you very much for You're your welcome. time. You're welcome. And good night. Yes, good night. Did I do it right.